Hello, everybody. Now let's check how to recover lost data from one Western digital hard drive. This is one live case study Dolphin Data Lab just received from one local client. Now I have just collected this patient Western digital hard drive to the SATA zero. Now I will uh, open the Western Digital Formal Repair tool to check to diagnose this pension hard drive. Now I have entered this Western Digital Formal Repair program interface. Power on the hard drive and I will see if the drive gets ready or not. Just wait a moment to check the result. Okay, the result comes. The drive has been detected. Let's try to scan the hard drive and see if the data error is accessible or not. Okay, the hard drive model, SN number, capacity are all detected correctly. So let's try to scan it. At this time, remember that the drive is not clinking, it's not scratching. So it's very important for users to listen to the sounds the hard drive generates. If the hard drive is clinking or scratching, uh, generating such kind of sounds, it's strongly suggested to open the hard drive in the clean room to check if there are some physical damages on such kind of drives. Users don't need to work on such kind of clinking drives directly with our tools because the chance is so slow. Is so no. So now I will work with these drives with the DFL formal repair tool because it's not clinking. It's not generating any unusual sounds. So at this time, I can use the firm DFL formal repair tool to work on it to treat it as firmware or logical damaged hard drives. So this is very important to diagnose the hard drives. Okay, now I scan the hard drives. Although all the hard drive ID information can be detected correctly, however, when we scan the hard drive, it's full of bad sectors. So, you know, this is really mostly the firmware issue, translator issue. So we can find all sectors are error. That means the data error cannot be accessed. So at this time, we can stop the hard drive scanning and then create the program. Now we need to enter the DFLWD from repair program interface. Now we select auto get detail. So the drive ID can be detected well. Now click OK. OK? Click OK to enter this. Let's check. OK? So all the hard drive firmware modules are listed. This is really good news for everybody because if the list is empty, we need to manage to get this module 1 and then node this module 1 to the RAM to list all the firmware modules. But now we can list all the firmware modules directly. So this is really good news. Now we try to test the selected firmware modules and see if any modules are damaged or not. If we found the damaged modules, we just simply fix the damaged modules and then we get the drive data recovered simply. Now I have tested all the firmware modules. Okay, so all the firmware modules are good except one module. That's the module 32. So we can make a simple decision that the module 32 caused the full bad sector problem. So all we need to do is to fix the firmware 32. Now we let's try to double click to open the module 32. We can find that this module is empty. So I think this, this is the reason why the module 32 failed to be read or the content is damaged. 
So this causes the full bad sector problem. It's very easy to fix the model 32 issue. We can simply find one dollar module 32 and then write to it. For example, uh, we unselect all module, select I have found one. I have found one module 32 and uh, put it on the desktop. Now I just need to write the module 32. Right by ID. And I have found one dollar 32. The donor hard drive modules can be from the same family for 32. That is enough. Same family. Uh, on the desktop. And here is the dollar drive modules. 32 okay 32 here is 32 okay we write it module read success now we power off power on and enter the hard drive again remember wait until the drive gets ready auto get detail click ok now let's try to check the module 32 Okay, now it has contents, but this is from a dollar module. We can simply clear this module, clear the module. Okay, unselect all, select 32 only, then clear the module. Yes, clear success. Now let's power off, power on, and we can try to scan the hard drive and see if the data error is accessible or not. Scan it again. See? The data error has been accessible. Now we can easily recover the NOST data from DFL DDP data recovery program. Now at this time we can go to the DFL DDP to recover the NOST data from this drive. So it's very easy to recover the lost data from this hard drive. We can see all the data here are accessible accessible you just need to select the files and save file save it okay save the file for example i save to the desktop done so the file have been recovered very easily Thank you for watching this video.